In this video, I am going to discuss about how professional traders makes money consistently and how novice traders consistently lose money. What is that business model professional traders use which makes them money consistently and how they are successful. So that will be discussed in today's video. When I say I am a stock market, I am a stock market trader, people say that is it not a gambling, is it not a risk, is it not based on luck. You must have also heard like this people are saying that it's a gambling, it's a risk. Honest truth is yes, stock market trading is gambling. Stock market trading is like a gambling, it's a giant casino, it's like a legally run casino. But tell me one thing, who always wins? When you go to a casino, who always wins? It's always casino owner wins, right? Always players, gamblers, they eventually lose money and it's always casino owner makes money. That's why they say that house always wins. If you have visited any casinos, you must have seen it. Most casinos offer you free food, free drink, everything. Why they offer you free food, free drink? Because they also know that more players come and do the gambling, more money casino owners makes. Eventually casino owners makes money. Why is that casino owner always wins? The reason is casinos are rigged in such a way that casino owners have always have the edge. That means they have the positive expectancy and players, gamblers, they have the negative expectancy. So that means as a gambler, as a player, you may make small, small money in casinos here and there, but eventually you will lose everything. So that is why, as I said just now, casino owners always make money and gamblers always lose money. In trading also, professional traders, they play like a casino owner. They have the business model like a casino owners. That is why they consistently make money. So novice traders play like a gamblers. So here and there they make small small profit like how I said gamblers eventually lose money novice traders also eventually lose money. So that is what I will be discussing in today's video and I am sure after watching this video the way you look at the stock market trading may completely change. So that watch this video till the end so that you will know that what is that secret professional traders follows why they are successful. Okay when a new trader comes to the market doesn't have any knowledge doesn't have any knowledge about trading. He doesn't have any strategy or he doesn't know anything about the risk management without any knowledge first time he puts a trade what is the success ratio of that trade success ratio is 50 percent why 50 percent because whenever you take a trade it is like a coin toss so that means whenever you take a trade it's 50 50 chance that means either it can go in your direction and give you profit or it can reverse and can give you loss right so when you take a random trades it is like a coin toss. Now you can see that I have a coin here. I have a 2 rupee coin and you can see that I have head on one side and tail on another side, right? So if I am going to toss this coin, can anybody tell me 100% which side it is going to fall? Is it possible anybody to guess 100%? Not just a guess, 100% can anybody confirm me it is going to fall head or tail? Not possible, right? Even I can't predict which side it is going to fall. Some of you may say head, some of you may say tail. But no one in the world can tell me 100% sure that which side it is going to fall. Same thing in trading, when you take a trade, it's a 50-50 chance. Either it may win or it may lose. Either you may make money or you may end up with a loss. That is a chances of 50-50 just like a coin toss in trading. That is the probability when a novice trader comes to trading. But professional traders, they don't have 50-50 probability. They have slightly higher than 50-50. So that means just like a casino I said they have a edge they have the positive expectancy. So that means when you go to casino when you bet on something you must be thinking that it's a 50-50 chance either I may make money or I may lose money. Same thing casino owners also 50-50 chance either he may make money or lose money that is not true. Casino owners have a positive expectancy that means more than 50% that means obviously you have a edge over others. That is how casino owners rig the game in their favor so that over the long run they are always profitable. So same thing like professional traders, they trade in such a way that always they have a positive expectancy over novice traders. So now make it understand much better, I am going to show it on my computer screen and I will show you exactly what is the edge casino owners have and how professional traders follow that business model and how they are successful in trading. Okay, now let me show you this slide just to give you a hint about what actually the business model casino owners, what is that, how they rig the game so that they have edge over the players. 
so this is the spinning tool called roulette what you see in the casino and you'll see all the numbers here you will see black and red there is small ball which they put it in the spinning tool and if you have put your money on the black and the ball stops at the black you will make money that is what the casino is you know that so whatever you have seen now in that roulette 18 red 18 are black so total how much total is 36 so out of 36 18 are red 18 black so that means you may think that it's a 50 50 probability right either it can fall black or either it can fall red and you have a 50 50 probability in casino but do you know what that is wrong you don't have a 50 50 probability in fact your probability is less than 50 why let me go back to that roulette can you see here along with black and red what you see here also can you see there are two greens right so there are two greens so that is what the edge casino owners have that mean if the balls fall in green either here or here that mean casino owner wins so casino owners have the edge more than 50 percent so you can see that 18 are red 18 are black and two are green so how much it is it is 38 so either you can put your money on red or black so that mean your edge is 18 out of 38 and casino owner's edge is 20 out of 38 because even the green he makes money right so that is what i said it's not 50 50 it is more than 50 so when you see it percentage wise players edge is 47.3 they can win 47.3 times and the casino owner's edge is how much 52.7 so who have a better edge here obviously casino owners have better edge because he has a probability of 20 out of 38 because whenever that ball falls in the green color he makes money right so that is what i said casino owners have a edge they rig the game in such a way that they have the edge over the players so when you deduct 52.7 by 47.3 how much it is 5.4 right so that means casino owners have the edge of 5.4 percent over the gamblers so that is the edge casino owners have 5.4 percent so let us take it as a round figure as five percent this is what the edge casino owners have over the players that mean over 100 rupees five percent is how much five rupees so they have the edge of 5 rupees whenever a player bets 100 rupees. Whenever a player bets 1000 rupees, how much it is? 5% is 50 rupees. Same thing, whenever a player bets 1 lakh rupees, casino owners have an edge of 5000. Whenever there is a 1 crore money in the betting, so how much edge casino owners have? 5 lakh rupees. So you can see that since they have a edge of 5%, so bigger the people put the bets, bigger the money they make. Now you know that why you get free drinks, free food when you go to the casino because of they have the edge that is around 5%. So that is why casino owners want more and more people come to their casino so that they can make more and more money because already they have 5% edge. You can see here the bigger the money. The bigger the people bet the money, bigger the money they make. Okay, so that is what I was telling you about the edge of casino owners. Okay, now why I was saying that even though when you take a trade, there is a chance of 50-50. When a new trader comes to market and take a trade, it's a 50-50 chance. That means either it can win or it can lose. Either he can make profit or he can lose. So you may think that oh, that means 50-50 chance, not a big deal. But you know what? It is even though it is 50 50 chance still they end up with a big big loss even though it's a 50 50 chance still he makes big big losses why it happens let me explain you with the casino business model casino you know that whenever you put say thousand rupees what will happen either you can make another thousand rupees as a profit if you win the bet 
or what happens you will lose entire 1000 rupees and you will end up with a zero right if you win you make another 1000 rupees that is your profit or you will lose entire 1000 rupees it is fixed in the casino it is fixed right but in trading it doesn't happen like that now let me give you an example suppose you bought a call option bank nifty which are, which was trading at 200 rupees okay you bought a call option bank nifty you think that market will go up and you buy it here but what happens instead of going up it started coming down so you are in the loss so what do you think no no market come back market is not coming up and it keeps on going down going down going down and you end up with a huge loss right your 200 rupees maybe it will become 50 rupees by the time you square off your position or your broker square off position because why that happens that people lose big big money because of the emotion right because we all human beings are emotional about money we all are emotional about money we don't want to lose money everyone wants to make money right but in trading when you become too emotional with the money you end up with a big loss because you think that let me not take the loss think i think that market will bounce and it will go to my break even price where i can square off at the break even but it doesn't bounce and it keeps going down you end up with a big big loss but whenever price starts going up once you take the trade it starts going up you will be very happy that it's going up and suddenly you will see a red candle you will see a back to back red candle suddenly you will see back to back red candles what happens you will go and book your profit here you cut your position if i don't book my profit i will lose whatever the profit i am making that is known as instant gratification that is known as pleasure of winning that means ego satisfaction so your ego gets satisfied because today you made money you feel proud that you made money but you don't know that you made only this much profit but whenever you lose you lose this much whenever you make you make profit this much so that is what novice traders they do the mistake because of the fear of losing money they don't take their losses and they end up making a big big losses but whenever prices goes in that direction and they see that suddenly price coming down they go and book their profit and they take small small profit because of that pleasure of winning because of the satisfaction and their profits only small small profit losses are big big losses but professional traders they don't do it. they don't do gambling so that mean what professional traders do suppose tomorrow market is going in the uptrend professional traders see oh it's going in the uptrend it goes in a wave structure goes up comes down goes up comes down right that is how market goes so professional traders they wait for the patterns they wait for the repeatable patterns repeatable price action suppose they see that oh it's in the uptrend they don't enter here they don't chase the market they don't enter here so suppose there is a moving average they see that there is a moving average which is which is in the uptrend they enter near the moving average they enter near the support this is where professional traders enter on the retracement they don't enter on the top so is it a 100% that if professional traders when they enter 100% market will go up like this is it a hundred percent it's not a hundred percent there is no hundred percent method in training but yes there is a higher than 50 percent chances that this trade may bounce because it's already in the uptrend and there is a chances of bouncing from that support there is also chances that trend may reverse and it can reverse instead of going up it can go down but probability is higher than 50 percent right now let us see 60 percent okay there is a 60 percent probability that once price comes to that support which may be moving average pure point cpr it can be anything assume that there is a probability of 60 percent 60 percent chances of that trade working 40 percent chances of that trade failing so how much is the edge they have so that means they have 20 percent edge right so which is more than a casino owner Casino owner have the edge around 5% and being a trader you have the edge of 20%. Suppose not 60%, let us say that there is a probability of that trade 
going up is 55 percent okay not 60 55 still how much edge you have 55 percent chances of that trade going up 45 percent chances of that trade failing still how much edge you have 10 percent till you have a 10 percent edge so that means your edge is bigger than the casino owners casino owner have a five percent edge you have a ten percent edge. so being a trader is better than being a casino owner okay that is the one example i gave you okay now let me give you another example how professional traders they make money consistently okay suppose you see that there is a supply zone here and there is a demand zone here this is the supply and this is the demands so suppose it stock trading at 200 rupees professional traders enters here near the demand zone will keep a stop loss of 180 and he will keep a take profit target at 240 so what is the risk reward here he is risking 20 rupees to make 40 rupees profit if stop loss hits he will lose 20 rupees but if profit target hits he will make 40 rupees that is in the risk reward of 1 risk to 2. He is risking 1% of capital to make profit of 2% capital. So you know that demand zone is the place where there is a very high chances that market can bounce. So chances of bouncing from the demand zone higher, right? It can be more than 50%. Whenever you toss a coin, there is a chances of 50-50, right? When you take a random trades, it has a 50-50 chance. Same thing in trading. When you take a trade, it has a 50-50 chance. Either that trade may work or that trade may fail. Same thing, when you take a high probability trades, when you take a trades, repeatable patterns, which you have seen that patterns work many times earlier, then chances of that trade works more than 50 percent when you take a random trades it has a 50 percent chance but when you take a trade a high probability with a logic it can be 55 it can be 60 percent right probability may go up 55 60 percent so that mean when probability is 55 percent that mean what is the probability of losing that 45 percent 55 percent of winning 45% of losing. What is the edge you will get? 10% edge. If that trade has a 60% probability, then there is a 40% probability of losing. So how much edge you have? 20%. Right? Having a good strategy can give you better edge, just like a casino owner. So that is what professional traders do. Professional traders take high probability patterns and they keep the stop loss. They follow the risk reward and casino owners also they don't make profit casino owners just because they have a luck or they are waiting for their luck or they guess the game thinking that they will win they don't do all these things they just follow their edge to play out and they make profit professional traders are so same thing they don't wait for luck they don't make a guessing game what they do they play out their edge and that is how they make that is why I said stock market trading is a gambling, no doubt about that. But not necessary you have to trade like a gambler. You can trade like a casino owner. So that is the difference between gambling in the market and trading like a professional casino owner. So now you have seen how casino owners always make money, how gamblers always lose money. And if you want to become a professional trader, you want to become a profitable trader, then apply the business model of casino owners don't trade like a gambler so that is the lesson you have learned in today's video about the how professional traders make consistently money in trading and how novice traders loses money in trading i hope you have liked this video and you have learned something very new in this video if you like this video then hit that like button share it with your trading communities and consider subscribing to my channel and if you want to learn more about the day trading strategies then you can think about joining my weekend webinar i have given the link below in this video in the description section you can click that link and if you are interested you can contact me over whatsapp or email and you can join my next webinar okay guys thanks for watching this video and i'll come back soon with a new educational video take care and wish you all the best